Hey everybody, I'm Louis Samastoy with the Bakersfield California, and I'm the uh, Vice President of Content here, and I'm joined by Theo Douglas, who's one of our reporters, and Theo has a pretty remarkable collection of postcards, which in California history were sort of instrumental in bringing people out here and showing uh, off the state. And also joined by Mike Griffith, who is our most veteran member of the newsroom, <laughs> and uh, you and also, a relic. <laughs> born and raised in Bakersfield, so we're gonna we're gonna send show, share some of these with him as well. But Theo, how did you get into this idea of collecting postcards, not only from Bakersfield but from other places in California? Uh, you know, I've just been always interested in uh, how things looked originally. Uh, so much of uh, California has been redeveloped over the years as land has become more valuable and uh, buildings have come in and out of fashion and earthquakes have knocked down some of those buildings and so I just think it's really interesting and I think postcards really show uh, what this state once looked like. We have about a dozen of these pictures or these postcards. Which one stands out in your mind uh, here from Bakersfield that you really you really kind of love? Well, uh, you know, I think probably to start you would probably have to start with the uh, greetings from Bakersfield example. Uh, and I just, I, I love this, you know, as, as I say in my story, virtually every city of note had a postcard like this, whether it was greetings from uh, Cucamonga or, uh, you know, uh, Seattle, Keokuk, uh, or in this case, Bakersfield. And I just think these are really neat. This, of course, features uh, local landmarks on the postcard. You see the uh, uh, Chester Avenue clock tower, uh, and then you see various other local landmarks actually a little bit smaller inside the letters and that's uh that's how these were typically done uh in in the case of this particular postcard the courthouse is inside the letter b uh but see the elta hotel which i don't think is with us any longer is in the letter e kern county hospital a uh, likely predecessor to uh kern medical center is in the letter r uh the padre garces statue at the traffic circle is in the s and then uh, the Pottery Hotel is in the letter L. And, and I just think this is a great... And that Kern County Hospital became Kern General Hospital, which became Kern Medical Center. Did it really? Okay, see, so, so there's yeah. the lineage. My mom worked cool. there for decades. Wow, that is so cool. Thank you for that. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, we're a little uncertain when this was actually uh, printed uh, because of a couple conflicting uh, population estimates uh, here on the back. But, uh, yeah, it's a kind of an older example. It's got a rougher, sort of a linen-like texture. and uh, Yeah, it's a beautiful. Neat example. A couple of that stand out in my mind here. One is this one right here, which is the Lake uh, of Oil near Bakersfield, California. And this is a beautiful one. This is probably, I don't know, maybe not quite 100 years old, but it feels that way. It does. And... and uh, to see all those old oil derricks, uh, Griff. Uh, yeah, those mm -hmm. old oil derricks, and uh, yeah, there's there's plenty of stories around Bakersfield and Taft of of lakes of oil and stuff. And I'm sure. Even as a kid, I remember you could just take oil waste and stuff and have it. If you go out Highway 65 to Formosa, there just used to be ponds out there, basically oil waste and mm -hmm. stuff. And yeah. Different era now, for sure. It is. Another one that stands out uh, for my Griffith would be. Uh, the Ming Lake one, and I, I'm guessing they're probably there's some this is some kind of race, probably some kind of race. Uh, Ming Lakes actually show that a little bit is 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 interesting where it it had a heyday early on. They used to have dances out there, uh, all kinds of stuff, and then the drag boat racing really big in the the late seventies and onto the eighties, and yes, that that's weighing down, you know, mm -hmm. but really big and. Uh, now it's pretty much used for fishing and a few people skiing. Right. And water skiing and boat races. And again, you know, on this 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 photo here, hundreds of people, you see the control tower and right. everything else. Yeah, I so. don't think that control tower is there anymore. But, uh, yeah, very popular. One of our former mayors, uh, Manuel Karnakis, uh, raced at the lake. Uh, he had a series of black and yellow speedboats. He crashed at least one. And I got a kick because he always named his boat the same thing, the... Uh, I'll spell it W O I S M E. I'm pretty sure that was pronounced the "woe is me" because <laughs> Ma you know. Mayo Karnakis they race at Hart Park Lake. Oh, is around the island really? at Hart Park Lake in circles. So if you go out there and look at how tiny Hart Park Lake is uh -huh. with that island in the middle there, yeah. and they raced around that. Well, how big were their boats back then? What were they running? Do you have any sense of that? Probably the, the wooden uh, speed type boats. Would they engineer? Manuel the boat? was a great guy. Well, yeah, oh, it yeah. seems like it. Real character. Looking yeah. at these postcards, Mike, which one would you kind of grab and look at uh, that you find fascinating here? Uh, me. <laughs> I've always liked this one. <laughs> it's kind of this space needle. The uh, 
the Civic Auditorium as it was back in the day, yeah. part of the Robble Bank Convention mm -hmm. Theater, I guess now is what it would be called. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's where I learned how to ice skate. Is that right? In, in the late 60s, early wow. 70s. Uh, they used to put down ice a few times mm -hmm. a week, a year. And uh, that was a big deal back in the day, and it's kind of dated now, but you like that. Yeah, it uh, really it has a, a mid-century look that we uh, are, again, coming to appreciate. And actually, our, our uh, lifestyle editor, Jennifer Self, that's one of her uh, favorite postcards, too. I, I just really like how uh, Space Age, mid-century it looks. You know, it's got that pylon on top. And, uh, yeah, just a classic example of that style of architecture. You know, kind of uh, not unlike uh, the Capitol Records building, although, you know, uh, down in Hollywood, although it's uh, much, much shorter, of course. I think the most artistic one we have here is probably this one, uh, which is the 24th Street Cafe, uh, which is, you know, one of the one of the kind of landmark restaurants downtown. Yes. And this is just a beautiful picture with the ham and egg, steak and chops mm -hmm. part on this, and it's called something else, G's Coffee Shop? Is that uh, what it's? Size. Size Coffee Shop, right? C-Y apostrophe, yes. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. you remember that uh, place? No, I don't remember that. Mm -hmm. so. That's just a, to me, just a classic example of, uh, again, mid-century architecture. Just a real simple building, little box, uh, but then one uh, front corner of it kind of rises up and it's got a pylon sign like they all did. Uh, just a really neat uh, way of uh, doing it. And it, that original building is still there today. You know, it's been expanded uh, and uh, changed around a little bit, but uh, yeah, the bones are still there. You can't talk about postcards in Bakersfield. Without a postcard of the old, old Bakersfield sign right. across Union Avenue, yes. the Bakersfield Inn occupied that cor corner, which was the place to stay in Bakersfield mm -hmm. before they built Freeway 99. Yes. This was the main drag, mm -hmm. and it uh, slowly it died a slow, lingering death. I think there's a, uh, there's a grocery store now in the corner there. The recreated sign is... Mm -hmm next to the Crystal Palace on that Correct. road. With the original but, letters, but not But the even in the sign. 70s, this mm -hmm. was still a pretty good place to go. I remember having a fake ID <laughs> and being in there. Wait a minute here. Uh, yeah, yeah, the yes, I remember That's going to the bar at the Baker, <laughs> Baker Street, and I think it's up. You called Chief Williamson <laughs> right away. <laughs> and uh, drinking... Yeah. Uh, Vodka at the bigger show in. Nice. Good to know. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I like this. Uh, you can see what we're looking at here is actually the uh, southeast corner of uh, California Avenue and Union Avenue. And, of course, this is uh, not the main part of the hotel. This is uh, – they had rooms here. Uh, but this building, which still stands, was across the street from the – main structure uh i guess you could say you know where the lobby and the pool were and that right. part got torn down but uh yeah just a really uh amazing uh amazing place uh one resident uh in bakersfield Vanessa van gal tells me that uh reportedly clark gable and carol lombard when they got married uh in the 30s honeymooned here at really the so they well could have that was a very very big hotel. Mm -hmm. Well, you can read all about this with Theo's story online on Bakersfield.com, on our mobile apps, and in the newspaper on Sunday. Thanks to Mike Griffith for giving us a little more context. Theo, great work as always. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining us.